So, with the most recent version of Ubuntu, Banshee stopped supporting iPods. I think it's just a temporary thing. Maybe they'll have it working again by 10.04. But for now, those of us that have iPods and have Linux are stuck without um, support. Well, I have figured out a great way to use uh, your iPod transfer files, including the album artwork, using Rhythmbox, which is the default music player for GNOME, the GNOME desktop in, uh, environment. If you use KDE, XFCE, or anything else like that, you can just download it if you're using Ubuntu. And I thought I'd show you guys how, since um, looking around on the forums, there's been quite a lot of annoyance with not being able to use our iPods with Banshee. So, if you have your music collection, uh, you're going to want to navigate to it. I have mine in the music folder here. And the thing you have to do before before anything, before you import any of these folders into Rhythmbox, and if you have imported the folders already without uh, album artwork, make sure to remove them before trying this. Navigate to the folder that has the files in it that you would like to work with. Here I have mine. Uh, and this only works if you have one album per uh, folder. You can't have multiple albums in one folder. The files. You can't have multiple fol uh, files of music in the same folder for multiple albums or else this won't work. It has to be one uh, folder per album. So once you have your folder of files from one album here, what you'll want to do is go to Google and search for the album. Here's the album cover. And you're going to want to download it to the directory. Oh, it's already open. And once you've downloaded it to the directory, it'll pop up in it. And what you want to do is re rename it to cover. And the important thing is that the file is a JPEG. If it's any other file format, PNG or uh, GIF or anything like that, just get rid of it. It has to be a JPEG. Find a JPEG on Google Images. I'm sure there is millions. Name it cover. It has to be named cover.jpg. And then once you've done that, open up Rhythmbox. Make, make sure your iPod is plugged in, of course. And here's my iPod. But what you want to do is go to the folder that you just added the picture to. And import it. And you have to make sure you didn't already have that folder imported or this won't work. Here, um... Here they are. And it's playing. And here is the album artwork. Uh, it seems to be working on all of them. Yep. So once you have the full uh, the album imported into here, and you have the album artwork working, uh, then oh, another important thing to make sure is that you edit all of this information. You make sure you have all this down before. Uh, before importing it into your iPod, because once it's in your iPod, it does not let you edit anything. Uh, you, you can't edit any settings. It'll just give you this really annoying beeping sound. So make sure you've edited all the information. I'll just do that very quickly. Now once you've done that, you can transfer the music to... You can transfer the music to your iPod and all of this information will show up along with the album artwork. And you see it still works and then just transfer it to your iPod. It won't let me transfer my iPod right now because I'm screen recording but that is basically all you have to do to get album artwork working using Rhythmbox with your with your iPod. And it's my personal advice to always just go ahead and do this. Don't import the album into your uh, into your Rhythmbox library to see if it'll get the artwork because from my personal experience, 50% of the time it won't recognize the album. 
and then 40 45% of the time it'll download the wrong album cover and then maybe 5% of the time it will actually work but it's just not worth it just go to Google Images download the image put it in the directory it's it's really easy and that is uh how to get your iPod working under Linux until Banshee uh releases uh, a a fixed patched version that works with the new release of Ubuntu all right